Pachyrhinosaurus, meaning in Greek thick-known lizard, is an extinct genus of ceratopsian cerapids dinosaur from the late Cretaceous period of North America. The first examples were discovered by Charles M. Sternberg in Alberta, Canada in 1946 and named in 1950 over a dozen partial skulls and a large assortment of other fossils from various species have been found in Alberta and Alaska. A great number were not available to study until the 1980s, resulting in a relative recent increase in interest in, in Pachyrhinosaurus. Three species have been identified. Pachyrhinosaurus lacustii from the Bapaitai Formation the bone bed horizon of which is roughly equivalent in age to the upper bear pole of the lower horseshoe can canyon formations. And it have been accepted from 73.5 to 72.5 million years ago. Pachyrhinosaurus canadensis is a younger known from the lower horseshoe canyon formation about 71.5 million years ago to 71 million years ago and St. Mary River formations. Fossils of the youngest species, Pachyrhinosaurus paroturum, have been recovered from Prince Creek Formation of Alaska, the date to 70 to 69 million years ago. The person of three known species makes the genus the most species among the Ceratopsians. Pachyrhinosaurs lived much um, in the north side of what is now known as North America, so which people think that some species may have not um, had scales, and some could, but as we know right now, um, Pachyrhinosaurus was in large um, herds of which a lot of other species like Gorgosaurus and Carithosaurus were found too. So, um, um, Pachyrhinosaurus was three minute uh, meters, ten centimeters tall, um, which is almost twice as tall as a human uh, adult average human being. A lot of paleo art about Pachyrhinosaurus has been done. Um, some of my favorites are the ones with the Pachyrhinosaurus in snow with the woolly covered, um, which, in my opinion, is the most accurate. From which dinosaurs have been discovered to have feathers, and it would be especially Good to have feathers, especially like a lot of Tyrannosaurs had feathers, and Gorgosaurus and Despletosaurus um, had um, feathers and or lived in most um, of the colder environments, so it would make sense for this Ceratopsian to have feathers. A lot of the good paleoart is when Pachybrontosaurus was in herds and fighting for dominance or mating, as we see in this picture, two males fighting for that female in the background. But, like, here's the one with the Pachybrontosaurus with feathers, but this one does not have um, snow in the background. Um, instead, it has fog where it could be, like, spring. But those were, and this one are what I think Pachyrhinosaurus would look like. And that's the end of this video. Hope you guys had a good time. And like and subscribe. Bye-bye.